Namaste South Tribe Spiritual Healer back to give you guys a message. This message is going to be for my collective, all signs. Hi collective, hope you're all well and safe. Hope you had a beautiful Valentine's Day yesterday. Um, I was really in my feelings yesterday. I was picking up a lot of the energy of the collective, a lot of the emotions going on, a lot of mixed feelings that I was having inside of me, collective. So a lot of messages and um, emotions that were uh, everywhere. And the energy of the collective was like a lot of emotions yesterday. Okay. Some of you got communication from your person because you guys... You know, you guys contacted me and let me know that in my email. Thank you for letting me know. Congratulations to all my beautiful soulmate twin flames that actually got com um, communication, that actually are reuniting with one another, because this is going to be like a twin flame soulmate union. Um, so this is like a twin flame reading, twin flame soulmate reading. You guys, you guys have a destined connection. You guys share one soul. So no matter how far apart you guys are, you guys are never um, away from one another. You guys are always spiritually connected. So if you guys got emotional yesterday or like me, you've been having like random bouts of out of nowhere, you start crying and you get emotional. That's That was happening to me all day. This has been happening to me periodically. And I know that is not my feelings because I'm not sad about anything. So um, yeah, collective, I also channeled the poem actually i put it into a poem um but um someone's person i i had i had several different um masculine and feminine energies like yesterday was like reaching out to me spiritually i was getting messages so i put it into a poem for you guys so this could be um the way your person is feeling about you you guys, um, this is how your person's feeling and your person's about to come in. You guys are about to have a, a, a union, okay? So you guys are about to come back into union. You guys are calling in your soulmates, one another. You guys are mirroring one another, going through the same period at, at this time, a soul reflection, dark night of your souls. And some of you guys are actually further ahead in the journey. So actually, did a, you? some of you guys already had the dark night of the soul. So now you guys are just like on this whole nother vibration because you had a death and rebirth and you had a dna activation so that has caused your person's awakening that has triggered your soul soulmate twin flames awakening okay i was guided to do this reading <clears throat> okay and it doesn't matter to me um who's watching my channel who's criticizing my work who's comparing me to another reader who's uh, accusing me of things it doesn't really matter collective because when you come to think about it, you're doing your, I'm doing my purpose. I'm doing my mission. I'm doing what I'm being guided to do. And I'm getting messages from my spirit ancestors and my guides. Okay. And there's no way you can copy your own messages or your ancestors guidance. Okay. So I'm not even going to give that energy. I just want you guys to know that I'm going to always come back here with the message that I'm getting. I'm going to call out the names that I'm hearing and I don't care who's getting triggered. I don't care who thinks they're in competition with me because they're they're in competition by themselves and I am here to shed light on situations and to give you guys the best energy that I have, you know, um to make you guys feel better because at the end of the day there's always the rainbow after the rain, okay? At the end of the day, you guys were born with protective ancestors with you since you were born. At the end of the day, you guys were chosen for a certain calling or a purpose, okay? And there always, there's always going to be people that come and, and try to throw you off track. There's always going to be negative people that come and give you a negative comment or make false accusations towards what you're doing when you're in your calling. So I am already used to this. This has been happening to me all my life. It's, and, and now it's like I have these trolls that are coming from outside people that I never even met. I never even met these people, but they have opinions about me. So that's what I mean. I must be doing something right if I'm triggering people to come after me. That's how I know I'm, I'm in my calling. That's how I know I'm helping others because the devil's a liar, right? And he gets angry when you help one another, when you enlighten one another, when you shed light on situations or when you actually are here to heal people. So if you're a healer, if you're a speaker, if you're a reader, 
keep your focus. Don't let nothing distract you. Don't let nobody's negative comments ruin your day. And don't let them make you feel like you got to prove a point. You don't got to prove anything. Continue to be unique. Continue to be yourselves. Continue to shine bright and continue to do your best because not everybody's meant to go where you're going. Not everybody's meant to be on your same vibration, okay? So um, if you're coming in contact with someone that hasn't healed, that's very negative, that's shedding this negative energy, kindly ignore them, block them, and keep it moving. Kindly don't entertain that energy because that's what they want. It's like the blockages in our lives. Like when, when, when the devil sees you going in the right direction, he's going to put traps in front of you. He's going to set these traps in front of you in the form of others, okay? Remember that, my beautiful um, collective. So I'm going to go um, into the poem that I wrote for you guys. It's called Twin Flame. And I got this channel song um, before I started recording this video by Usher. So um, it's basically nice and slow. So someone wants to take it nice and slow with you guys, collective. Someone's fantasizing about making passionate love to you, not just sex. Okay, Someone, um, someone's crying for you at night. Okay, I got the energy of someone crying tears because they literally feel this piece of their soul that's missing. They literally awaken to the connection with you. Okay, so, and they're very regretful of the things they said or did towards you. It's like they're feeling the pain that they put you through. So this is very intense right now at this point in the journey. So this poem is called um, Twin Flame. I feel your energy inside of me. We share one soul. It's destiny. This passion that runs so deep. In your arms, I fall asleep. Dreaming of our past lives together. We came into contact to make one another better. You are me and I am you. So let's do what lovers do. This connection is stronger than I or you. We connect on another level, telepathically. So there's never been a real distance between you and me. So open your eyes and let the light guide. When two souls are one, it will conquer anyone. You are I and we are one. I love you. Twin Flame. Yes, that was such a beautiful poem. Like, that was such a beautiful energy. All these different messages that I was getting from other people, from everyone's, like, masculine or feminine, all these different messages and energy I was getting, I just put it all into one poem for you guys. So, basically, that's how your Twin Flame is feeling, okay? That's what it is. You guys share one soul. Um, and um, no matter how far apart you guys are, you're never really apart, okay? So just keep that in mind. If you're going through this, if you're feeling your heart pounding, if you're feeling your part, um, your soulmate, um, past life soulmate's energy, if you're getting emotional out of nowhere, guys, I'm being guided to tell you to um, use a rose quartz right now. So using a rose quartz right now is going to help you going through this uh, process. And this healing um, process as well. And this rose quartz is very healing for you guys. It'll help you get through this. And a black onyx or black tourmaline. Okay, guys? So let's get into the messages, spirit guides, and angels for the beautiful collective watching this video. Give me the messages from um, their, their twin flame, their soulmate. What does their soulmate twin flame want to say to the collective spirit? What's the energy for the collective dealing with their soulmate, twin flame spirit? This person um, is this person is, is is in heavy reflection right now. If this person is dealing with a karmic, they can no longer stand to be around this karmic. They can no longer um, fake the funk. Like they don't care. Like they don't miss you. Like they don't love you. Some of your masculines have spoke up to this karmic and and defended you guys in your name and and let this karmic know that. You're never going to love, they're never going to love someone as much as they love you. So um, pretty much things got very nasty for this masculine or feminine in the situation. When this person confessed to the karmic about who you are and what you really mean to them. This person's coming out family. This person's upset. This person don't want to be bothered with no one. This person's in an isolation hermit mode phase. This, this soulmate of yours, Twin Flame, is just over it. They cannot no longer be around... People that don't want you guys together. That's what I'm getting. This person could have went somewhere, got a room, isolated theirself, just left, took a bag. Wow. So go with the flow. Beautiful energy coming out first. Wow, Spirit said, with the Eight of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles, can't make it up. 
Can't make it up, guys. Communication here. Communication and the fire and the passion between this communication is going to be very intense. It's going to be mind-blowing that you never heard this person speak to you the way they're going to speak to you. They never expressed their emotions the way they're about to express their emotions, okay? This Knight of Pentacles and this... um. Eight of Wands is coming in. This person took a long time to do this. They took a long time to tell you their feelings. They took a long time to, to go through this uh, awakening because your soulmate had a lot of childhood wounds, childhood trauma, could have been molested when they were young. Listen, this person had a lot of uh, fears, okay, but they're coming towards you because they can no longer stand back, can't stay away. Yesterday was a very emotional day for this masculine or feminine, okay, because they just want to talk to you so bad. So this, if it didn't happen yesterday, that doesn't mean it's not going to happen, guys. Okay, so change your perspective here because this could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn you're dealing with. It could be an Aries, Leo, Sag as well. But this person is coming in quick, okay? Um, I got a couple names that I forgot to read on my, on my notebook that I heard earlier when I was channeling this poem and message. I heard Carrie. I heard Lucas. I heard Anthony, I heard Brian, I heard Alexandra, and I heard Alex. And if I get any other names, I will call them. I also keep hearing Michael and Jonathan and Joshua or Johnny. I also heard Lorraine, Jesse or Jessica. I heard Meredith. Okay, that's a beautiful name, but I just heard Meredith. <clears throat> so the Eight of Pentacles, okay? So um, I'm getting that the Eight of Pentacles was in reverse, but I'm, I'm going to put it upright. I'm getting that it's not going to be all rainbows and lollipops and sunshine. Like, everything's not going to be perfect, but they are going to communicate. They are going to let you know how they're feeling. And you guys might still be guarded towards this person. You guys might feel like this could never happen or work out. But you guys, if you really want to be together, if you really want this connection, then you guys are going to have to work on it. You guys are going to have to put aside the differences and let go of the past, okay? And that's the only way this is going to actually happen or work out because I feel like these roots run deep, okay? Your guys' connection and roots run deep, okay? That's what I got from looking at that card. Thank you, Spirit. Wow. Right now, your person's feeling like the sun is in reverse, like, um, this person can't even be happy without you. I can't live, baby, without your love. So I heard that's some old song by R. Kelly. I can't sleep, I can't eat. Okay, so this person can't sleep, can't eat, literally. This person is like the nine of, nine of cups in reverse. Um... This person feels empty without you. This person feels lost. This person feels robbed. This person feels like um, they were just set up by this karmic and everybody else in their family to lose the best thing that ever happened to them. Wow. Okay, this is your soulmate's energy right now, guys. Yeah, and they feel like you um, totally, totally, totally pulled back your energy or really blocked them on all uh, um, social avenues or they don't have no way of communicating. Wow. This person could be reaching out to someone in your family or someone you know because this person is really manifesting you guys. Gemini energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy here, um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, all signs are here. But this person is literally manifesting you guys collective, okay? And they're trying to figure out how they can literally reach out to you. And you need to be focused right now, my beautiful loves, because there's a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy that's really trying to trigger you, that's targeting you, that's trying to cause arguments, distractions in this connection that could be giving your person lies about you so they don't come forward. But literally, you're, you're the Empress. You're the, in the Empress energy. So um, you guys are in Empress energy. This is actually Libra energy. So Empress energy where you're actually manifesting and co-creating everything that you want to come in, male or female here. And um, this is why they're manifesting the Empress. This person um, knows you're their soulmate now. And this is the Knight of Cups coming in. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Younger energy. But this person knows what they want. This person knows who, who you are to them. This person is coming on the white horse determined to, to conquer this beautiful Empress or Emperor. Okay, I'm just saying because you guys are in this beautiful energy here. Okay, and yes, the Ten of Pentacles is on the bottom of the deck. 
truth coming out to the light about a Pisces or this is Pisces energy. This person finding out truth in their life and so are you guys collective mirroring one another and the angels are bringing this situation back in. The ancestors are resurrecting a situation between you and your soulmate. And um, that poem is literally how they're feeling. Um, how you guys might be feeling as well. Like you guys feel this person so intensely. You can't make that up. <clears throat> yep. So I'm going to pull some love messages um, from your person after I pull some cards from the Chosen deck. So this is the Chosen deck that I created. Let's see what the Chosen deck has to say. Spirit guides and angels, give me the messages for the collective dealing with this twin flame um, situation, soulmate um, union or connection, any situations dealing with family or anyone they have to know about, any warnings you have for the collective, let me know now. Thank you so much, Spirit Out Anna. Speak to me clearly. Okay. Mm. A lot of you guys are dealing with inheritances, estate, property, or inheritance uh, situations with family. And some, of, and some of you guys need to let go of a karmic connection that you're still holding on to because this is keeping you and your twin flame apart for a longer period. If you guys are entertaining a karmic energy and you know this person is uh, sneaky and they're lying or they're hiding something, disconnect from that person because someone's getting caught cheating. All, all hell's about to break loose. Somebody could go to prison for a big fight that happens. Somebody's literally going to be getting caught in the act. Wow. Okay, yeah, somebody's going to be getting caught in the act. Because they're having hot, passionate sex, because they're hooked, because they're cheating, because they have sexual fantasies, because they have uh, sexual addictions, okay? And that's the energy that's keeping you guys stuck. I'm coming, I still love you. Exactly, your twin flame soulmate is coming because they still love you, literally. They never stopped loving you, okay? But somebody's literally trying to steal your ideas while they're still accusing you of being a copycat. Wow, how does that happen? So someone's stealing your ideas but trying to say that you're copying them. I just got that message in the card is here. Chosen starseed. Yeah, you guys are chosen. You guys have your own gifts, your own set of gifts, your own intuition, your own creativity. You're being guided by your own set of ancestors as well. And you guys are having weird, vivid dreams at this time because a lot of karmics or people that did you wrong in the past are going to be coming into your dreams trying to get your forgiveness, trying to plead with you, and you're just, like, annoyed in your dreams. Like, why are you even here? So I was like, I heard the song, How did you get here? Nobody's supposed to be here. Yes, I love that song. So there's a lot of energies trying to force their way into your energy because you literally started, you literally healed, you're literally glowing up, you're having a huge success and transformation, your, your abundant energy, everybody sees you doing your thing and, and, and it's just like too much energy, too many people are trying to come back into your energy all at once. And it's just very overwhelming to you guys. So please use your rose quartz crystals. Use your amethyst crystals. Do a lot of meditation. Do a lot of Reiki. Do what you need to do to transmute this energy right now. Because it's weighing heavy. I'm telling you, I felt it yesterday all day. So I um, basically didn't do a reading yesterday because it was too much energy, mixed energies. I felt karmic energies and I felt masculine energies, feminine energies all in one. So somebody's pretending to be single and they're getting caught cheating because when you met this person, they were sent to you to keep you stuck. They were sent to you by your family. This person was sent to you to put you in lustful energy, to be codependent on them. This person is just the one that is like your handler. So so I'm going to just call that person a handler, right? So this person was always pretending to be single, but they were always working with someone behind the scenes, a karmic that they will go and sleep with because they were being paid to keep you stuck, guys. Wow, hearing voices and a mental breakdown, somebody's having that. Because you guys come from this royal ancestry bloodline. They should have never came for you. They should have never tried to interfere in this divine connection. They should have never sent spells. They should have never did that. Yeah, and there was a sister for some of you, not all of you. Thank God I don't have a sister in my life because I don't have sisters. But you guys dealing with sister energy, there's a sister that could have sent you beauty spells and, and it could have backfired, okay? And this person could have literally got involved in ruining your connection with, with your soulmate as well. Um, Yeah, important letter in the mail coming, collective, accepted, okay? 
And this is going to be a huge DNA upgrade for you guys. And if you guys been outcasted by family, you already know that there's some hidden truth about your dad or about your parents. Orchestrated lies, adoptions, or um, literally um, just very, very secretive people that kept you in the dark about who your real dad was or your real family is. That's coming out to the light as well. Okay? And that's going to resonate with every, not everybody, but some of you guys. I heard Dean or Diane. Dina or Diane or Dean, D, D, uh, D, Destiny or Diori, I heard some weird names, Diori, I don't know, Destiny, Princess, I heard Jackie, so I heard Jackie, Spirit, give me some extra uh, love messages. Heard Matthew. <coughs> My friends know, okay? And this is a water sign. So your soulmate's friends know that this person can't get over you, that all they do is think about you, all they do is talk about you. All they want to do is get you back, and um, this person could be very sad. This person could be um, drinking a lot, um, trying to literally um, self-medicate themselves or numb themselves to this pain, because this person is just like, it's just going through it. This person, this person is remembering all the stuff they put you through or literally feeling the pain that they literally put you through in the past. So yeah, my friends know, and water sign male here for some of you. So their friends know. I'm so nervous. They're so nervous about talking to you. It's been a while since you guys talked. Please choose me, right? This person sees you having options, going up, doing good for yourself. It's been so long. I need you. For some of you guys, for dealing with a water sign, it's been a long time. You and this person haven't spoken. It's been a long time, and they're nervous, okay? Because they are literally being drawn back to you. I never stopped loving you. I just pretended. That's exactly what I was saying to you guys, collective, okay? Please accept my offer. Wow. Please accept my offers here. Please unblock me or they blocked you or you blocked them, but you you guys are about to be unblocked and you're about to be communicating. I'm ready for real love. And there was a jealous cousin of yours that wanted this person and could have thrown themselves at this person, could have did that in the past to break you guys up, made up lies on you guys. Fire sign, you guys, some of you guys have, have a fire sign coming in. Instant connection, Aries Leo Sag. I watch you online. So yeah, this person literally watches you online. Gonna send you a lot of love messages coming in and they know you're an earth angel, my loves. They know that you're a healer and they also know that their family and this karmic got in the way of the connection. And that's why they're determined to come and, and, and fix this at all costs because this karmic knows. This person stu stuck, this person stood up for you guys and literally told this karmic what it is about how they feel and shut it down. Okay. Wow. Because all this karmic ever did was run, run their mouth about you guys collective. After a while, your person could, could, couldn't keep their mouth shut up anymore. Had to shut it down because it, your person got so sick and tired of family or this karmic talking crap about you guys, okay? So this is a beautiful connection that's coming in. This is the message that I'm getting for you, collective. If you guys need a personal, reach out to me on my email down below. I love you guys so much. Till the next time, namaste.